here with us. He's, he's heavy in our hearts. We love and we miss him so much. And uh, watching him host of that belt will, will forever just be a, a very special moment for all of us and something that, that we'll all cherish um, forever. And uh, we miss you, Spot, and we love you. And uh, s same for you, True. I mean, I remember True. He had a great draft story, too, uh, in the Madden Challenge that same year. True Boy literally got the worst, worst draft, draft ever, ever seen by man. <laughs> And, and he was able to make a run to the final four, the semifinals with that. And he was just another world-class player. And um, we love you guys and we miss both of you. Yeah, and then to speak on True, like this mode fit both of those guys, True and Spot. It, mm -hmm. it fit them. They were two of the unique players on offense. They could use any formation. I know matching up with True in these leaderboards and matching up with Spot Me, I would play them. and. They'd run anything and have success, and it's like, what do I do on defense to stop someone who could pick any play in the playbook and make it successful? Um, definitely miss them, and uh, they're heavy in our hearts. Absolutely. We truly love them, and that's why whenever we see a super dot now, and it has to be the super dot, I call it a spot. And when I see that real, real good stick work, it will ever be that true stick to me. Amen, brothers. Here we go. Semi-final number one. Boogs, Kratobin. And Boogs will have it first. And old Deshaun Watson will get a big gain of zero. Yeah, good start there for Kratobin's defense. Came out with some good coverage. Forced Boogs to roll out. Nothing there. Forces a, a loss of down. I think one of the coolest things for me is I was just hanging out with Kratobin in the players lounge during that last game and just how relaxed he is going into a game of this magnitude um, it just shows a different level of poise that you wouldn't expect from a guy being in his first live event it, it was really comfortable it was really awesome to see him that comfortable yeah, he has a really good demeanor and approach to the game Bugs on second down there's Julio he's been there Sort of as his security blanket throughout this tournament. That's a big gain of 13. You get that 97 overall Julio able to get open on any route you put him on for the most part. And you know he's going to come down with a lot of passes. Julio makes a big play to start the game. Two boys from the south. It is Lakeland, Florida for Kratobin. And Atlanta GA for Boogs. Even though Boogs got strong ties to Detroit, Kratobin's got big ties to the NY. That's why you see him rocking those Giants unis. And I know Farles is sitting at home. He's happy about that. We haven't seen the Giants do anything good in a long time. 1986 or something. I mean, the last time I saw the Giants doing something good, I was getting my heart broken. So. I didn't want to throw that out like there. That's why I went further it. back. Real quick, guys, I just want to reinforce um, these guys have had a lot of the success in this tournament. They've both made $20,000 up to this point uh, in the tournament. The winner of this game goes to the final, which will guarantee themselves $25,000 with a chance to make it $35,000. So this is a minimum of a $5,000 game of Madden. Uh, problem, if that's something that you're thinking about in this situation, or is it too early to start thinking about the cash? Yeah, no, you definitely start thinking about the cash, but you have 20 in the, in the bank already. Yep. 5K does make a difference. You got to go out and play your game. You can't let the money affect you now. Yeah, and nobody would have better insight on that than this guy as he's been in that situation more times than we can count. And that's the beautiful thing about the MCS with the, the prize structure from the Madden Challenge yeah. of the past. It was winner take all. You win, you get to the finals, you, you're not guaranteed anything. Nowadays, you, you're guaranteed some money, so that, that is the cool thing about the MCS. Yeah, I think there was three times you left the rest le left the rest of us players uh, out dry because you, you took home Come on, all the, the ball, money. Ball, the ball, let's go! Kratobin! Huge yeah. play for Kratobin. Right Randall with the recovery. Deshaun puts it on the carpet. Chris Jin Lomenzo, 20 years old. His birthday's actually next week. He's going to be 21. And he's trying to get a little extra birthday present with a fumble from Bugs, and that is a huge play. 
in the semifinals of the Madden Challenge, but if anybody has the poise to not buckle and panic in this situation, it's going to be Bugs. Yeah, that's a huge play, but that's 100% on Bugs getting hit right there and, and, and dropping that ball inbounds. Kutobin able to scoop it up, and now Kutobin, those pressure plays, all the pressure's off now. You know, he has a, a, a first, first down at midfield. Looking to take a, a, a score and take the advantage here in the in the early game. So they'll set their substitutions. They'll set their audibles and get ready to go for Kratobin's first time with the Rock. After the huge turnover with 3.09 to go. That's early for Boogs. And that's sort of been his M.O. over the last three years. And, and big games. It hasn't gone his way. Then... Let's take a look at this again here, guys, just real quick. A little Snickers replay when you're off your game, when you're hungry, eat a Snickers. Wow. You see Watson get hit. It's just a mistake on Book's part. He thought he was closer to the sideline than he actually was. Wasn't able to get out of bounds. Gets hit right before. And the ball drops inbounds. Doesn't bounce out of bounds. Tobin scoops it up. And, uh, the, I don't know what player it was, number 23. Um, the player that caused the fumble was the same player that recovered it. Yeah, Darius Randall. So a huge play from Darius Randall right there for Kratobin. Yeah, Demarius Randall, a, a, a Madden player himself. Yeah, actually matched <laughs> yeah up he is. We ran yeah. some games, and he, he actually beat me at one of the two games. Richmond, Richmond. I was upset about that, but he, he is a big fan yeah. of Madden. Old Demarius isn't too bad at John Madden football. Second and three. Watson to Joe Mixon, still on his feet. Real quick, I remember they brought Demarius to the studio to play the game early. And then he started tweeting out pictures of the game early. They had to, like, come down and be like, hey, like, we know you guys are NFL players, but you can't tweet this stuff out. But he's a big fan of the game. Yeah, he finds himself with his new home being in Cleveland. A lot of folks headed to Brown Town. I know some Giants fans that are headed to Brown uh, Brownstown. <laughs> One of them, Katie the Fullest out there, he, he converted from a Giants fan to a partially Browns fan, he calls it. I mean, he has two teams now, pretty crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Trades will do that to you. Exactly. Second and four. Ball the 30-yard line now. For Tobin on this opening drive after the turnover. From Boogs and Mixon. They'll plow ahead for one. Just to put in perspective, too, as you see both of our players here, this is a huge, huge game. Remember, this is single elimination. And if you're a guy like Boogs, you put 155 games in on the ladder. That's got to be close to 100 hours of Madden just for this tournament alone. And all of that hard work comes down to this one ball game, and you've already fumbled. You really got to suck it up and find a way to leave it all out there and make a play. But Kratobin's, oh, there it is, big hit by Bugsy. Yeah, huge hit. He had, he had the drag underneath, decided to chuck it downfield for the big play instead of picking up the first down underneath. Now he finds himself in a, in a spot where he has to decide if he wants the three or go for it. He's going to kick it. After the drop by Jordan Reed, it's it'll perfect. be a 46-yarder. You can't block that. And, I, and one thing I wonder if all these players watching the block kicks that have gone on in this tournament, are they all trying to go for the perfect kick now rather than the half power, the easier kick? Yeah, no, that's a good point. That's a really good point that problem brings up. Because to go for the perfect kick, if you get the power, the kick power that high, what you need for the uh, perfect kick on the accuracy meter on the come down, it's going to be moving super fast, and it's really hard to get that accuracy. So going for the perfect kick, a lot more difficult than a normal kick. It gives you a greater chance to miss the kick. Yeah, it does. There's a motion from Gurley. The fumble by Watson only turns into three points. And he can't get it to RB before he gets sacked up by McDonald. Nice clicking in to send the pressure. Yeah, it looks like Kurtzman did his homework on Book's favorite play, which is that bunch trail play. He has the angle route to the tight end, and then the motion drag. He's all over that play right now. 
second and 18 early on in this drive. And one thing I will say, guys, about Bugs is he is willing to take a lot of sacks. He's always been a player that he's gotten sacked a lot, but it's because he doesn't like to turn it over via interception. And he does know how to pick up yards in big chunks. So don't be surprised if you see him take a couple of sacks in this game. After the play action, this time he'll smartly throw it away. That'll make it third and long. Great right from user. the 17. Great user from Kratobin. He made the play with his user right there. He took away two routes, and that's what you'll oftentimes see at this level. The level of user is, is top notch for a lot of these players. Kratobin able to take away the underneath route and then peel Richmond, off, Richmond. take away the crossing route deep and force a third and 18. Well, for the first time this week, this is the only game going on. No simultaneous game. Look for the motion slant here from Gurley. Watson. Oh, Boy, there's some pressure. We might see a punt here. No, you got a punt if you're, if you're Bulls. You can't give the ball up in the red zone here, especially on a fourth and 24. So he'll punt it away with King. And this will be returnable. White. Oh, he's got room. That's Joe Mixon, excuse me. And Mixon will get to the 46. Story of the game, short field for Kotobin. Back-to-back -back drives, no pressure really on his offense. Defense has played outstanding up until this point. He already starts in Books territory here, looking to add more points to this lead. Trips to the left here on first and 10. Plus territory, as Problem mentioned. And White. See where they end up marking this since he spun. Yeah, second and one. Would have had the first down. Yeah, picked up nine, though. And we're headed to the second quarter. Kotobin in full control of this semifinal game. Looking good so far for the rookie. Well, at the end of one, yeah, the, the new guy, Kratobin, up 3 nothing. It's been all the man from NY who now makes his home. And coming up next, Drini versus VY Electrify. That semifinal is coming up next, right after the conclusion of this one, all leading up to the big game tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN News and our other digital properties. Here we go, quarter number two. Boogs has turned it over. He's had a punt it. And now Kratobin has it again. They were the second and one from the 37. Five more minutes on the clock here before the half. And Jordan Reed will get to the 26. Move the chains. Just a good rollout right there. And you see from Kratobin, and a lot, you'll see that as a big part of the meta. You roll out, get outside the pocket, have a drag coming with you with a dig route behind it, force the user to pick one of them, and then find the space and get it to the open receiver, whatever one they leave open. Good execution by Kratobin. And I will say, I like seeing him run the ball here. You got to remember, statistically, Books has the worst rushing defense out of any other player in this tournament. Well, he loves to go to the run on first down, and this one moves the chains again after Mixon been very effective here in the first half. Little motion. Watson up under center. They'll stretch it out this time. Cuts it back against the grain. Ooh, wee, Kratobin. Lovely spin move there from Kratobin. Runs the ball right side. And you spoke on it, RG. Boogs' run defense is suspect. And uh, that's kind of how Boogs has played throughout his Madden career. Hasn't had the best run defense. And, and you see right here, it hurts him once again. I believe in Madden 16, you, you played Boogs in the final eight of the Madden Challenge. And I think you just ran all, ran all yeah. over him, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah, I ran inside zone all game. He didn't once adjust out of that. He told me when we talked uh, earlier this week that he changed his defense and he's now able to stop the run, but you see right here on this replay. Yeah. And the, unfortunately, you want to talk about statistics, guys. 
Kratobin playing good defense isn't a mistake. This is a guy out of the 16 players in the field. He was number two in points against, and he was also number two in defense against the pass, and he's number one in defensive pre-play adjustments per play. He's making seven points. He's averaging 7.74 adjustments on defense per play. So this is a guy that is thinking a lot on defense as it is surgical with his attack, especially when it comes to stopping the pass. Well, he stops at that time, holds Fournette to a one-yard loss, but it's... That play tells me a lot about Boogs' yeah. uh, confidence right now, running the ball on first down. Boogs is not a runner. He's a he's an air it out type of guy to see him run being down 10, he obviously is not comfortable in this ball game. He's got to find something to work. His offense has been abysmal. And there's Julio Jones. A little drag. That'll make it third and seven. Just the second grab for Jones. Remember, he had a 13-yard in route there to start the game. That was it. Let's bring in Goes, who's hanging out in the players' lounge. Knows a lot about these guys, but especially Kretobin. Goes, what can you tell us about this youngster? Uh, I'm impressed by how he's playing defense in this tournament. He's playing he's playing really good defense on Boogs, and Boogs isn't really hard to stop. So uh, it's impressive. Uh, close. I mean, Kretobin obviously new to this big stage. You've been on the biggest of big stages, winning mm -hmm. a belt yourself on ESPN. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about what he, a little bit of what he's going through right now? How does he have to adjust to that? Well, right now it's it's nervous times for him because he needs to win this game to make Madden Bowl, and that's what all of us, you know, are striving to do: make Madden Bowl. And uh, if he wins this game, he's locked in Madden Bowl. So this is a high pressure game for him. Uh, but it looks like he's controlling controlling his nerves really well. I'm impressed. It's a really good point right there from Ghost talking about this is not only a championship to get in the championship for Kratobin, but also a game that would lock him in for that match ball. Well, I appreciate oh! Ghost joining us. Give us some insight, and there is an interception. Big stage don't care for the little man. Boog's uncomfortable. That's, a, that's all I see out there. His offense is shaky. Kotobin is a big factor in why it's shaky. And you see he's in full control of this game, up 10 with the ball. And he also gets that ball in the second half to start. Problem, do you try to knock that one down? I mean, it was basically an arm punt there. It yeah, cost the him a is, lot of field position. Yeah, the thing is about the SWAT, I'm not as confident as getting <laughs> a good animation in the SWAT as I am as uh, going for the catch. So I, I, I go for the pick there as well. Um, if I pick it off, I do lose the yardage, but I'm going for that every time as well. The way Kratobin's playing defense, I will say at some point, I would like to see the defensive perspective of Kratobin because he's obviously doing a lot right now to frustrate folks. And when you make 7.74 defensive pre-play adjustments per play, that's a lot going on. That's a lot of thinking. I mean, we all make a lot of adjustments, but 7.74, that's got to be a lot even for a guy like you, Prob. Yeah, he's doing a lot out there on defense, and it's showing. He's making the right adjustments. His user placement is one thing I'm watching. He's just, just in the right spots at the right time, knows what plays are coming. He's playing a great defensive game. I'm more interested in seeing how he plays with this league. How is he going to uh, manage this clock? Is he going to be smart with the ball? That's uh, that's the tale later on in this game. And that's where we've seen a lot of these younger players. Mm -hmm. You know, we've seen that be their demise before. So that's a really good point, Prob. He is going to have to manage this clock like a pro. Second and seven. It's going to move him to head five yards after the infraction. Yeah, you see Boogs on aggressive right there. Kratobin, veteran move right there from the rookie. Uh, catches him on aggressive. Gets the five yards, and now he's in a he's in a run down here. He can run the ball, try to pick this up, and on top of that, take 30 seconds off the clock if he likes. Yeah, likely they're going to be a stretch, or maybe he'll audible to a dive right there. But it's an outside inside style run game. There's the dive. Picks up the first down, easy run there for Kotobin. 
clock moving here. Boog's really back against the wall early on in this game, and, and he's going to have to get aggressive. He's going to have to get that's desperate that's here uh, in the second half if this game continues here and Kratobin ends with three points or, or more. But I will say, I think right now in the immediate, guys, it is very pivotal that Boogs holds him to three. You cannot give up the touchdown of your Boogs and let this become a three-possession ball game. The two-possession ball game is so much more manageable. So if he can either force a turnover on downs, a turnover or a punt, or the field goal, that's the most important thing to keep it two possessions. Second and ten. 127 on the clock. Big drive. Try to keep Boogs shut out here in this first half. I want to remind you guys to keep it locked out there on Twitter at Madden League Ops for live tournament coverage, content, news updates, and more. And if you missed a cool play, they put a lot of replays and cool stuff up there as well. Always some Donnie Moore nuggets hanging around. Third come back, and come two. Back. Come back, come back. Just milking that clock. Two timeouts remaining. Go Books Jack. has three. We've seen him hit the swing route to the halfback several times in this tournament on this play. It's locked up. That's good defense. And he will just throw that away. Prodigy on the screen right there. Yeah, right now, if Kurtobin happens to win this, it would actually knock Prodigy out of the Madden Bowl. That's the way the points are setting up right now. And it's up, and it's oh. Oh, just gets over the crossbar. And you saw the wind was two miles per hour. I think he needed that right there. It was, it was slightly in his favor. Gets the field goal, huge kick, 57 yarder to extend the lead. Ooh, Remember, guys, this is it for Books. He got 42 seconds, three timeouts. He got this big donut on that board right now. You need to try to get yourself some points before the end of this first half. But you also, like we always talk about, you got to make sure not to give up points on the other end by turning it over. We were talking about the cash, the MCS points, but you forget the ever important automatic bid to the Madden Bowl. That's what the winner of this one will receive. Top two. If you make a final, you get moved on to the Madden Bowl. So this game's got a lot of implications for a lot of players in the community that are watching those boards. And I'm just not sure what Boogs is going to do Tiger, offensively Tiger, here. Tiger. It's just, Richmond, Richmond. it doesn't look good on the offensive side of the ball. He's going to have to change something up here offensively. Um, Kratobin has great defense for him right now. Come back, come back. Yeah, Kratobin is doing all kinds of work with his user defender. That's who he's been controlling right there. You see him taking the cross to the other side. Oh, my goodness. Look at this heat problem. Uncomfortable for Boogs and, and, and like I said, Kotobin, all these guys, they're, they're lab junkies and, and they're in the lab with their boys, with their crew. And, and look at this defense. We haven't seen a defense like this where everyone's spread out on the D line. He's getting pressure from the outside. He's blitzing a couple guys at a time. You see him sending six here. Man, the pressure has been unreal for Kotobin and a good time out there forcing a punt from Boogs and maybe he can get three more here late in the half. Second punt of the first half. When you get bugged, some sort of green shake, uh -oh. foot shake. I don't know. I don't know what kind of uh -oh. what kind of shake he needs. Yeah, well, no one talks about special teams enough. He had the punt. Punting is not something that you see in competitive Madden too often. And you see the punt cost him three points right there because he's in field goal range now. Instead of getting that ball out of bounds, he left it in bounds. Kurtobin makes a couple nice moves, and, and he's in field goal range to extend the lead even more going into the half. Well, this will be a 52-yarder. Try to put him up 16, and this one's got plenty of leg. With one tick remaining in the half, Kurtobin. It's been all Kratobin. 
up 16 to nothing. Yeah, that field goal is huge. I, I want to say, too, I think probably made a good point about how underrated special teams is, and I think that's always been one of your strengths. I mean, we saw you win some big games. I, the one that comes to mind is the one against Joke, where you had the several punt returns. So the good advice from the GOAT right there. You need to get it done on all three phases of the game. Kratobin obviously got it done on special teams at the end of that first half right there. Well, these guys don't punt a lot, that's for sure. But yeah. when you do, uh, it can cost you. And it did cost them three points. We're here at the half, 16 to nothing in favor of Kratobin. That's RG on the end. Eric Problem, right? Scott Cole with you here at the half and semifinal number one. We have Electrify and Drini coming up on the other side of that. Let's take a look at the first half highlights here. And there won't be a lot from the man donning the white and blue uniforms, and it started with this fumble right here. Yeah, it really changed the game. You know, uh, we can go back and look at that and say, that doesn't happen. Maybe Bush gets points on that drive, plays from ahead, and said Kratobin has a stress-free drive, goes down and settles for three. Playing with a short field for the majority of the first half was Kratobin, and he was... He was even upset with himself that he wasn't getting touchdowns on these drives. Yeah, that's the thing. The, all the points on, on the board are credit to his defense. Defense wins championships, and you're seeing it here from Beethoven, who wants to go to his first championship that and his first drive event. Probably. Game of inches. I'm just curious. If you're Bugs and you have a first half like this where nothing's working out for you, you complete, it's a box, yeah. as we, we used to like to say. Well, I'm, shout out to Tom Wild. What do you do going into the second half? What adjustment do you need to make to get yourself out of this box and get into some sort of rhythm? Yeah, you got to scrap that that offense right there. You got to have to come out in different formations. You're getting screamed at. If you stay in that offense, what, what you're in right now, it's it's going to be the same story. Nothing's going to change because Kratobin's going to run the same defense. You're going to see the same outcome. Should well, this is. It's going to be tough for Bugs, you know. Yep. He's been in that bunch for so long. He's so. got to start on defense first. We've had an incredible week hanging out here in our brand-new studio, and we asked the players who would they like to see in the final tonight. <laughs> what Hard to oh, cook. Oh, that was nasty. Touchdown, Drini, when he needed it the most. This game's not over. The Madden Challenge is the longest-running Madden tournament that there's ever been. The first Madden challenge was for Madden 03. Pre-MCS, it was our biggest tournament of the year, our only main event. It's definitely changed from then till now, um, especially the money and the opportunity everyone has to not only win, but build a brand around themselves and get potential sponsors and all that, so it's, it's bigger than ever. So much aggressive, and that is a big mistake by Trini. The thing that I love about Mutt Draft is just, just, it's unpredictable. You could take the best player in the world and have a terrible draft, and all of a sudden, they don't look so good just because based on what they have. It's all Joe Rice here in the first half, and Trini's face says it all. The opponent I'd least like to face is Drini. All these players are good, but I feel like he's the best when it comes to like making adjustments on the fly. Prodigy or Drini with Boogs. What would be the best final I would like to watch and why? It would be me versus Drini in the finals, 48 to zero. I've played him quite a bit. He's helped me prepare a lot. So um, I want to see him succeed, but in the finals, uh, it would have to be at his expense. Well, we thought we might have that happening, but right now we're in danger of that not happening because he is down 16. 16 to 0 right now has had absolutely nothing going on offensively in the first half. Yeah, no pressure pressure situations for Kratobin, and that field goal allows him to come out in the second half and only have to get a field goal to make it a three-score game instead of being 13-0 at the half and a field goal making it 16-0, that field goal is going to um, be big in this game, I think. Well, this opening drive for Kratobin might tell the story. I want to give a big shout-out to those out there watching. I want to say a happy Sunday to you, a happy St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's been getting pinched except Rico. He's still rocking the green. Black 
We talked about Prodigy looking on, wanting to know what Kurtobin could get this win and perhaps come back, come back. knock him out of this thing. Yeah, again, I want to see how he plays with the lead here in the second half. Is he going to work the clock? Is he going to change his game plan a little bit? Slow down the game, playing with a 16-point advantage. Yeah, you just said a problem, and you've talked about it. We've seen these younger players have trouble managing the clock. So this is this play clock right here. That's the one that you're going to want to keep an eye on. Will Kotobin make sure he winds that down as much as possible before each snap? Because that's what you want to be doing with a 16-point lead and the ball in the second half of the biggest game of your life. Well, they say the most valuable currency in the world is time. That's true when it comes to Madden. There's Jordan Reed. He'll pick up maybe six or seven. That's going to bring up a third and three. Yep, and if you look at it, two plays, two plays in bounds, that should be a minute of clock. There's only 10 minutes coming out in the second half. One minute should be down after those two plays. Put that into perspective right there. I mean, 10% of your whole, you know, tournament life. tournament life gone in two plays. Yep. So you can't stress enough the sense of urgency that each of these players need to have on every one of these possessions. For Chris Tobin, it needs to be a sense of urgency like we keep talking about to just keep this clock moving. Yep. You're going to see a run here. It looks like he's... He's in that run mode and, and clock management mode, and he's playing a smart game come out in the second half. Halfback wound. Your books, you're looking to take a user defender right here and just shoot a gap, make a play. And there it is. He missed the tackle, though. Missing out to the 48-yard line. And it goes back to Boog's run defense. You know, you have your 10 AI control players that you set up and then you have your user. He shot the gap with his user, missed the tackle. And so instead of a loss, it's a first down. And you see the result is, is not good for Boogs. Clock moving. So it's going to bring up a first and 10 at the 48. Watson up on her center. Two tight ends. And he'll bring Ridley in motion. Stretches it out with Nixon. And maybe the best job that Boogs has done all day. And it was Mixon running into the back of his line. And it looked like a big run potentially for Kotobin. Uh, ran into his lineman and only picked up three yards there. Uh, Boogs needs to hold him here. He cannot allow any more yards. You saw Kotobin already nail a 57-yarder. You cannot let him in field goal range here to extend this to a three-score game. Second and seven now. I like how Kratobin's mixing up the outside run with the inside run. It makes it harder for Books to guess what gap he needs to shoot or does he need to scrape over the top. Mixon. Makes it a third and five at the 43. Books has got to get him off the field. Has to get him off the field here. Um, Kratobin probably going to pass here, pick up, try to pick up the first down. Boogs should know that and hopefully sets up a, a, a defense that can guard all these routes that Kratobin's about to send out. Lucas in the players' lounge doing some calisthenics, some push-ups. There's always something going on in the players' lounge. The defense by Boogs. Wow, he needed that. Bruce oh. Irvin getting in for the sack. And it knocks him out of field goal range. Not too bad of a drive, though, by Kratobin, because he is going to take off roughly four minutes of this third quarter. So uh, six minutes or so should be remaining for Boogs. But Boogs, that, that is a momentum play right there. He's going to get the ball back, only down two scores. Kratobin tried to go to that. He was looking at that short outside dig route that so many of these players like to throw and th Boogs did a phenomenal job on that play manually taking it away. Here's the punt. It looks like a good one with it. Oh man. Yeah, he got some momentum going. Look at the, the, the punt difference though. He didn't allow Sanders to return the ball and, and now he starts from his own eight and you saw Boogs punt the ball 
for Tobin was able to return it and get a field goal earlier. So little things that, that people don't often notice are, are big factors in the game. Yeah, he's been consistent on all three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams. And if you want to be a champion, that's what you're going to have to do. And there is Smith. That gets him out of the shadow of his own end zone. That aggressive catch uh, by Julio right there. Able to make the pass, pick up 24 yards, and uh, now his offense gets a little bit of momentum here for Books. That's a risky pass, though. That ball could have gotten knocked out. Could have saw some tipped interception, tip drill stuff right there. If you're Books, you need to play with a sense of urgency, but you also need to protect this rock. And he will slide down. Remember, had that earlier fumble. It really cost him. What's some more push-ups going on in the players' lounge. Ah! Rico getting work done. Rico, what the heck is going on over there, my man? Like, they're, they're popping Rico. He, he must have lost the bet back there or something. Rico's been doing push-ups all week long. Rock solid picks over there. Rolling out. And he'll just throw this one away. Yeah, Boogs, He's four, four of ten. ten. Yeah. yeah, you don't see that from Boogs. You usually see high-powered offensive passing game from Boogs, and he just isn't comfortable by this pass rush from Kratobin. You'll see these four down linemen causing all kinds of chaos. I'm liking these adjustments Kratobin's making on defense. You see him move his nickel back right here, and he's just been mixing it up with that guy. He'll put him in bluff blitz. He'll put him in cloud flat. He'll blitz him. He'll man him up. All kinds of adjustments he's doing with that nickelback. At some point, Boogs needs to go to plan B. Maybe he already has. There it is. There's Boyd. And he oh, dropped it. On. Wow, he dropped there. That's unfortunate. And when things are, are going bad already, you don't need bad breaks in the game as well. That's a bad break for Boogs because it not only is a drop, but it's a drop on third down setting up fourth and four. That's his biggest play of the game for Boogs, boys, no doubt. And if you're Boogs, if you can convert here, go down, get yourself a touchdown in a two-point conversion. That's the kind of pressure you need to put this young buck under. But you need to get there first. Big play here, boys. Fourth and four. Got to get out to the 42, and he's going to take it. Oh, away. no! This can't happen. It can't happen in this game, and, and Boogs knows that. And it's you know, sets up a fourth and nine now. Now that drag that you can typically throw underneath, you're not so sure if it could pick up nine. So it has to, it changes all the routes here on fourth down more times than not. Oh, when it rains, it pours, boys, and it's flooding on Bugs right now. He needs to find a way to get himself out of this. He needs to convert this. Got to get nine now. After the delay of game. And he's going to take another one. Oh, oh no! You got to be kidding me! Yeah, this, this is uh, not not good uh, management here for Bugs, who's down 16 already. Um, a delay of game, and then a timeout right after that. So 60 seconds goes by, and, and he hasn't came up with the, a play call that he wanted. Oh, this is a meltdown right now on this fourth down for Bugs. Delay a game followed by a timeout in the second half. You better convert this. A little bit of motion. Once again, needs to get to the 42 yard line. Watson to the outside, and Boyd will hang on. Yeah, big catch there. Boogs needed all of that. Picks up the first, and we're headed to the fourth. Yeah, put your fours up here in semifinal number one. Boogs is in the biggest mental pretzel he's ever been in. But he's got five minutes, needs two scores, and two two point yeah, conversions. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a tough thing. The two point conversions, like, those are, are, are tough to come by. Having to get touchdowns are hard enough, and then the two point conversion. With only two timeouts, it's going to be a tough comeback here for Boogs. Watson needs some chunk plays. He needs to get in quick. And Gurley will get out of bounds of the 33. I love what Kratobin's doing. He's playing a cover two style defense with these guys up here. 
But then what he's doing is he's taking this linebacker right here and dropping him back into deep zone two. One of those two linebackers showing a cover two look, but then turning it into a hybrid cover three. That's giving Book some trouble. Watson to Boyd, and Boyd once again gets open this time in the red zone all the way to the 11-yard line. Yeah, if you would have told any of us Book's first red zone opportunity would be in the fourth quarter, we would have called someone crazy, but that's what it is. That's, that's where Book needs to strike now, first and 10 from the 11. Yeah, ID in the mic on blast. Watson on the move and Julio makes a circus grab. Comes down with it, but this is the big play right here because if you don't convert this, Kratobin has a two score lead still and it's going to be no pressure on that 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 next drive. If you convert it, Kratobin knows it's only a one score lead and, and a little bit more pressure adds on. I'll tell you, if, if Books can convert this, I like his chances. He's not going to give up. He's going to stay clutch, and this could be the Richmond, motivation Richmond. he needs. This could be the biggest play Richmond, Richmond. in Books' long Madden career right now. This is huge. Deshaun here for two points, and high He's ball got it. to Boyd. High ball for the two-point conversion. Cuts the lead in half. 16-8 for Tobin. A little bit of pressure on this drive now coming up. Oh, no. Rico's got him. Do now the players are doing push-ups in the players' lounge. And here comes Boogie, Boogsy on defense. Look at this. Julio, and I was about to say it prop right before he threw it. You got to watch out for Juli in that red zone. Get the ball to your best player. That's what Boogs does, and now he's back in this ball game. And we got ourselves a good one in the semifinals of the Madden Challenge. Can he stop the run, though? That's the big question right now. Mixing, Mixon averaging six plus per carry right now. He has to hold Mixon to a minimum. We're going to be looking at the defense perspective from Boogs, who's the man who needs to stop. And you give up a big chunk on first down, seven yards. And here's the thing. This isn't the situation that's usually good for Boogs' defensive style of play. Remember, he's a bend-but-don't-break style player, hoping you make a mistake. But now you got to get aggressive because you can't just let Kratobin walk his way up into field goal range where he can kick it and make it two possessions. He might if sneak you, it twice here, RG. All I'm saying, though, is if you're Boogs, you need to get out of your comfort zone and get aggressive. Blowing up this QB sneak would be a great way to do that, Scott. Yeah, if he goes QB sneak here, he's going to get some yard. He's not going to get the first reset, down reset, with a QB reset. sneak. Though. So this it's is going to be interesting if he does that. Sneak. This is big. Third and two. He's going to use a majority of this clock, obviously. Pope's going to try to blow it up with this user defender. And he oh! got it. My goodness. That's how you put the pressure on the young fuck, and that's how you show him you're a savvy veteran if you above bugs you. He made some questionable user plays earlier. Not that time. Runs through the gap. Punches Kratobin in the mouth. And now he is all the way back in this ball game. We got to go. Oh, my. Night, night. Go. GG. It's not over. No, no, not yet. Uh, Gretobin with a great response, though. Books, first off, showed the best quarterback sneak hit that we've seen in this tournament. And then he turns it over with a user alert there from Gretobin. Oh, man. And Books needs to come up with another stop. Back to that last drive, though, from Gretobin. The hurry up offense to go QB sneak back to back just wasn't a fan of it, especially when Mixon has been running the ball so well for him. The boy, he's point. still on his feet. Good point, Rob. I'm telling you, just the way he's been playing, this this is GG's right here. 
It's a semifinal. You got to come with your very best. Come on. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Richmond, Richmond. And remember, Boogs burned a timeout earlier in this half. So he's working with one less than he typically would. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. There's his timeouts right there. He's trying to follow along and keep track. Watson. Wide open. Sanders. Yeah, one good thing there for Boogs is the play clock is a little bit faster than the game clock, it looks like. So he will have to call one more play here on this side of the two-minute warning. <laughs> Just a little bit. Look how synced up those two clocks are right there. Pretty much identical. Yeah, with that being said, you can use this as your as an advantage on offense. You don't necessarily have to run the ball come here. Back, back. You could take a chance downfield thinking that Boogs will run commit here. Th that is a good point because the clock's going to stop regardless. The veteran point right there. Yeah. Mix in again. Oh, man. He's already in range. If we talk about his range earlier, he hit a 57-yarder. So that, that, that's big right there. Books can't really allow any more yards here. Uh, do you get a what, what do you do in this situation, Prob? You can't give up any more. Is it? Do you send everybody? I mean. Yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm run commit. I'm bringing everyone down. If he passes, he beats me. Uh, I'm just not going to let him walk up the field with the run. So Mixon, 79 yards, one touchdown, and here comes a huge third and one. Yeah, do you QB sneak here? It looks like he's going to. Do you do that after the last result being a hit stick fumble? <laughs> you know, it's kind of risky. But um, it is rare. It is yeah. rare that that happens. It is. I, I'd, I'd much rather go to fullback dive and, and give it to Mixon rather than risk that fumble, though, with your quarterback. He flips it, and Watson gets hit again. And it's going to be fourth and inches. We've seen block kicks. He has to knock this through. He'll, I'm sure he's going to go for the, the perfect kick. We'll see if he can nail it. 54 yards to put this one out of reach. This is who we've seen books block, block the kicks with earlier. It's a perfect kick. From the snap to the boot to the result. And Kirk Tobin is up the much important 11 points. Yeah, 11 points, no timeouts remaining for Boogs. This is what I call an onside, you know, situation here where Boogs needs to score and on top of that get an onside kick to stay alive. And, and those those situations are bad ones if you're on Boogs' side. You just, you don't see onside kicks in Madden, really. Not often, but we have seen them. Anything's possible if you're Boogs. One thing at a time, and the first thing you got to do right now is go get yourself some points. Yeah, he, he does have to go down the field, but you see this line being spread out. These, these ends are really going to be screaming right here with this pressure. See what Books does on offense. Just dumps it off the girly. One good thing, he's got out of bounds. Picked up some yards, you know, moving that way. If I'm Books and I'm in this spot, I'm going down trying to get three as fast as possible, then attempting the onside and then going from there. So second and two. Need some magic here. Out of timeouts, 139 to go. Reset, reset, reset. Getting field goal range. You might want to think about kicking it through. If the drive stalls. Come back, come back. Two jet. Two jet. Two jet. Watson. Gets it to Julio Jones. Just shy of midfield. Yeah, but Tobin will live with that. You welcome him to throw the ball over the middle, you know, 10 yards, you'll give that up as long as you take that clock with you. And Books unable to stop the clock there. So the clock continues to run. The shot. It's out of the pocket, and he'll throw it away. Minute 15 to go, RG. He needs something big here. Like Prob said, I, I think at this point, if you're Books, you're just Tiger, trying to get into the field goal range so you can quickly kick the field goal and then just give yourself at a chance to get the onside Tiger, kick. And if you get that onside kick, it puts all the pressure on Kortobin. He just needs to find a way to pick up about 15 20 right here. Watson, no. once oh. again, just has to get rid of it. Here comes third down. 
Yeah, nothing open. Had the fade on the right, smothered. Wheel route on the left, smothered, and then the crossing route for Tobin with your user taking it away. So good defense once again from the, the young for Tobin. Boy, he's been strong. He is a minute ten away from punching his ticket to the final of the Madden 19 Challenge. Books looking with the shot. Trying to buy time, and here comes fourth down. Fourth in the game. And remember, we told you Katobin had the number two pass defense out of all the competitors, and it's just been on full display this entire game. Yeah, and the pass defense is a result of his D-line. His D-line is just putting Boogs under a lot of pressure. Go back, and, and you look at Dak rolling out, throwing it away a bunch of times, and uh, it's, it's just been a story of that. The, the, the pass rush has been there all game for him. I said Dak. I meant Watson yeah, they're, throwing the they're, ball. They're, the they're both number four. <laughs> they both play in the state right. of Texas. You're close. The shot. This is it. Got to get rid of it. He does. Gurley. Holds on, clock on the move, down at the 34, 53 seconds to go. Yeah, get your field goal unit out there as fast as possible, I, I believe. He's going to go ahead and, and go ahead and try to score here, clock moving. And remember, what's allowing him to spread his defensive line and get that pressure is he doesn't have to worry about the run from books, and that's part of the problem when you're so you one got to kick the field goal right offense. here. Yeah, he got to kick the field goal right here, and he will. If he's going to kick it here, he should have kicked it the yeah, play right. prior, that's in very, my opinion. There goes 20 seconds exactly. that he wish he had back. Up, yeah. and it's good. And here comes the onside kick. The only thing I guess you could say is it, it is an easier field goal, so maybe that's he wasn't comfortable from that distance, but you have to kick the previous play, in my opinion. Needs a little magic. King will tee it up. And Boogs. Can he get a bounce? And Kurtobin will recover. And he'll cover up the ball as well. Very and wise PG. not to take a hit stick. Another veteran move from Kurtobin. Recovers it. Doesn't take a hit stick. Covers up. Great game from the young man. And a very impressive win over Boogs. Well, we've seen Boogs here two times now. Been that close to the final for the veteran. You feel for him, but Kratobin dominated this football game. Yeah, absolutely. And just hats off for Boogs. You're happy for the newcomer. Kratobin has really made a name for himself. And you just got to wonder when is Boogs going to be able to get over that hump? and get himself one of these MCS belts. Unfortunately for him, it won't be here at the Madden Challenge. Well, Kratobin is going to move on to the final. He's moving over here to the desk, going to hang out with us. Uh, Steve's going to get him set up here with the headset, and it is a 19-11 to win for the youngster from Florida rocking those New York Giants. You're in the final, my friend. Feels good. Like, that game was, like, probably the biggest game for me because – if I didn't win that game, I wouldn't have been into the Madden Bowl. So now I'm locked into the Madden Bowl for that. Yeah, one in, maybe Prodigy out, a little last chance qualifier route still out there for you, and uh, among others, problem. Yeah, last chance is, is my last chance and a lot of others, so I have to do well. But uh, speaking of your game, and your game has been impressive, but what impressed me the most is your demeanor and how you handle yourself in-game. You don't let your emotions get the best of you. Like, how do you, how do you do that? How do you bring that in your first tournament? How do you have such good demeanor? Um, yeah, so really um, I, I watch Blocky play in his big tournament games, and I really like how he handles himself, so I try to – mimic that but if I get a big player or something I'll get excited a little bit but I'm not into that little interaction with your opponent I just stay focused on the game awesome are you gonna watch this next game or are you gonna go shopping for something that's on the legal list for us <laughs> uh, so we're out here let's take a look at these highlights here in the semi-final between Kratobin and Boogs in that first half forget about it man you dominated Boogs and that was a nice spin move to the score Mixon best player I Best, one of the best running backs in the draft. If you get Mixon or Gurley, you got to pick him. Here's a long field goal and was just to over make the that. bar. Just over the bar. It's a game of inches sometime. 
And, and that made it a 13 uh, nothing. We'd be 16 nothing at, at the half. But how are you feeling right now? Here comes Boogs coming I'm back. Sick. Uh, was this before I fumbled on the QB sneak? Or I think it was before. No, you're, yeah. no. Here's your fumble right now. If you want to look at it again. Oh man. Why not go to Mix in there? You you like him so much on second down or nor third down. You go. Yeah, to I should have. I, I was thinking about calling a timeout and going like shotgun, so he has mm -hmm. more stuff to guard. But no, I, I just went with the QB sneak, and he made a good play with his user. Yep. Well, these next couple hours, what are you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm gonna watch the. Um, Drini versus VY game, and then prepare for who I play. Tobin, you're obviously you're up here. You're sitting next to the goat, the greatest Madden player of all time, and you're going to the Madden Bowl, and he's not even in the Madden Bowl yet. Oh, How does that make you feel? Um, feels good to be in the Madden Bowl, like I said before. But I'm sure, problem he he could have a good shot and last chance. So it's going to be hard, but we'll see. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to you, my friend. Let me Thank sh you. shake that paw. Congrats. It's Paul the winner here. Take a look at the bracket.